So different than the outside transformer that we saw up on the pole, which was in a gray canister, that takes voltage from the lines and it puts it through the transformer and then makes it available to an individual site. In this case, the transformer is actually on the inside of the building. So the underground wiring supplying the electricity came from that graded vault that we saw outside at the sidewalk. And it comes into this site to the transformer. And a job of a transformer is extremely important because it takes the high voltage electricity that comes from the wires that allows it to go long distances and be distributed across the grid. It actually brings the voltage down and brings it into the site so you can actually use it for your equipment. If it came in without that transformer interaction, your equipment wouldn't be able to handle it. It is very well protected, usually locked by the utilities because this is still considered utility equipment. Sometimes the transformer will be owned by the site owner or owned by the utility, but it is still under utility control. Transformers can take a lot of different shapes and sizes. You can see them in round cans like we did up on the pole. You can see it in a box like this which is actually fed by an underground wiring system. Or you can also see it maybe on a pad mount, like a cement pad outside, and they're usually green, and they're usually about three or four feet high. A lot of times you see them in industrial areas or neighborhoods, and that's what steps the electricity down and then makes it available to the next step, which is your meter that meters your electrical consumption, which is what we'll talk about next.